Uh, been using some of the Shelly products for, shoot, probably since y'all released the original Shelly one, what, that was probably four or five years ago, maybe more. And I know y'all are releasing, doing stuff with Z-Wave now, and I haven't seen any of those products. I was just kind of interested in seeing what your lineup is and the different use cases and things in that Z-Wave line. Okay, yeah, we started with the Z-Wave uh, last year. Uh, we added to the Shelly portfolio the Z-Wave because of the, some reasons like uh, alarm systems uh, so, and uh, other requirements. And also in the US, it's quite popular, the Z-Wave. Right, it definitely so, is. So uh, now we don't need to explain anymore what is better, what is uh, <laughs> to use it. So people can just select it. Right. Wi-Fi, Bluetooth, or Z-Wave. Any, uh, any going anytime, going to like Zigbee as well? Because I know you probably get that question. Because everybody's wanting to do Bluetooth and Zigbee, Z-Wave, everything. Any idea or, or, or thoughts on Zigbee? So far, we don't see any benefit of the Zigbee. Okay. Comparing to the three protocols that we are already using. So the Z-Wave, Wi-Fi, and Bluetooth. So uh, this year and next year, for sure, we are not going to the Zigbee. Uh, yeah, luckily with the new series of the chipset, it's 800, so the hardware is the same okay. for all the regions. Then only the firmware is different and we can oh. put certified for different regions. But so far we are uh, selling uh, in uh, Europe okay. and now in the US and oh, also uh, Australia. Oh, because cool. There are three different continents with three different frequencies. Yeah, and it kind of keeps it, but it's just like you say, it's the same hardware, so it keeps it easy there. Yeah. So. Yeah. It, From a manufacturing point of view, it's much easier than before with the Serie 500. Right. Yeah, mostly, mostly all of them are the same functionality like uh, the Shelly Wi-Fi, even the enclosure and everything, just as we put it the Z-Wave communication inside. So uh, you will see actually the same names, only the beginning is different. Now it's Shelly 1, here it's called Wave 1. Shelly 1 p.m., here it's called Wave 1 p.m. Got you. Okay. So as you know, all of them, uh, we can explain it one by one or... No, it, yeah. ke it keeps it very simple. Yeah. I mean, but the naming convention. Yes. Is this your Z-Wave gateway or what? Or Yeah, this is, we call it, uh, yes, the Wave Bridge. Okay. So the Wave Bridge, it's now uh, mostly done. We are planning to launch in the Q1. So in, in still in one month, something like that. And we'll just take it all Z-Wave devices to the same network of the Shelly Wi-Fi in the same cloud and same application. Okay, so ties in the same application. Yeah. Um, I know one of the big things I loved and I know everybody else loves about a lot of the Shelly stuff is kind of the openness of where, you know, where they, especially on the Wi-Fi models, they come with MQTT and everything and the, the like I can take a new Shelly and, and really don't even need the app and just pair it up my network and then bring it in, which is very cool. Um, is that same kind of openness going to be there with that, with the Z-Way bridge or is that going to be tied more to y'all's app? Uh, yeah, at the beginning for sure it will be top to our uh, app so that will be in the cloud but after everything is connected to the cloud then the same API is used for the Shelly cloud everyone can use it. Yes, That's like, awesome. Like to that. yeah. That's awesome. Do what, you know what chipset they're using in there? The I know they had the different series, different Z-Wave chipsets. Yeah, for all products and also here we are using S800 series. Oh, okay, yeah. great. Is that... Was that, the, was that the long range one that they're do, they're doing the Z, they have Z-Wave long range. I know I've kind of heard a lot of you know talk about that. Is that any kind of long range stuff in that? So the, we will also start with the long range. Actually, the long range is the same hardware. Right. It's only the settings different, and then we have to make the different certification. Cool. It's like the FCC so for radio, it's different for your. We didn't make it so far because in Europe it's not ready yet for right. the long range. So being the same hardware, like once things kind of get certified, and then would it be available with a firmware upgrade to go enable long range in some of these, or would that going to be a different lineup to be long range? No, it must be different because of the uh, FCC certification. Got gotcha. you. Yeah. Okay. Okay. So we'll, yeah. we'll need a different certification. Yeah. Well, I don't have any other questions. I uh, appreciate your time, and uh, I'd like to see more of the products when you come out. My pleasure.